What's up? It's a wheelbarrow here, and we're with Hug G. Hi. That's a G, like gangsta. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um, you know what I'm wondering is, how do you feel about Paul's quote on you being the greatest customizer in the world? <laughs> I think it's uh, it's flattering. Yeah. Um, do you see yourself as like a a, a celebrity? Of some sort? I, I mean, to be honest, if I'm being honest, yeah. I know where I fall in that scheme of things. Mm -hmm. I know how successful I've been. I know how fast my stuff sells out. And so, and I and I see pe fans' reactions and everything else. So yeah, I know where I fall. I know there's some sort of celebrity status within that world. Um, am I the bad, greatest, world's greatest customizer? I don't think I can agree with that. <laughs> I know well, some I'm sure there's a few people that would probably beg to differ. <laughs> yeah, I know some guys out there that are just amazing, that are doing amazing stuff, really crazy detailed stuff. Um, I can knock out detail, but it doesn't lend to my style. And hmm. when I want to, I can knock out detail. These guys are, you know, where am I going with this? I think... Yeah, I can't agree with it. I'm not the world's greatest customizer. <laughs> That's where I'm trying to get to. That's they, right. there are guys there that make out there that make amazing stuff, and I also don't like the rating system on it. Yeah. You know, I'm just doing what I want to do. Yeah. I'm making stuff that I consider dope stuff. Yeah, it's what I like doing, and so I don't want to be the world's greatest. I want to be the best I can be. Yeah, and you know, I. I'm inspired by the guys I see in my scene, and uh, who are some of your favorite customizers presently? Oh man, okay, you're, you're gonna find out that my my ability <laughs> to remember names is awful. Um, if not, that's cool. I can I can help out. <laughs> I'm, homie, I'm homies with a bunch of those guys. I could I could <laughs> I could sit and look them all up, and yeah, I'm gonna yeah. Kevin Goslin, uh, yeah. F plus. Yeah, um, and I don't know how to pronounce his name, Chaskowski. Mm -hmm. um, I think, yeah, Chaskowski's got to be one of my personal yeah. favorites. Um, there's this guy, Wheelbarrow, that's doing cool stuff with Ty Barber. You like that? You like that? <laughs> um, yeah, there's probably another half dozen names. Yeah. I'd have to sit down and look them up. It's just, I don't have a good retention for names. But, um, yeah, yeah there's um, guys doing amazing stuff out there. One thing I always found fascinating about your work, and it was when I first opened I Am Plastic, was I, I saw one of your customs and I was just like, how does he evoke so much emotion with just four lines? Four lines on the face, and that's it. And it's just that powerful. You know, I, I mean, is there, is there something to that simplicity that... It's just what attracts me. Yeah. Like, I, I, I do stuff that's fun. Is it a, is it a timely thing? Do you, I mean, do, do, it's, do, do you... Partly, yeah. I mean, it's... It, there's... Um, it, there's something in simplicity that I really like. Um, I also grew up on Tintin's books. It's okay. a great example of simplicity and facial features. Mm -hmm. And and there's a, there's it's an interesting too. Yes, <laughs> but there's a, there's an interesting balance between. I mean, part of my style is I like it's that really cute form mm -hmm. that has a dark side to it. And I can't remember who I was talking to about this. They pointed out about my own. It's it's the same thing in the in the um, the simplicity. Yeah, I can do detailed stuff, crazy detailed stuff. And but you it see kinda, that in your accessories and this background story and everything that revolves around the toy. So that's yeah. So it's both simple and it's crazy detailed at yeah. the same time. And it's finding that line. And it's not. I mean, I'm probably over analyzing this because I don't think about it. It's just what appeals to my eye when I'm in it and when I'm working on it. Um, yeah. So, breaking into the scene of customizing, do you have any tips for budding customizers, hopefuls, yeah. you know, fans of yours that want to follow in your footsteps? Is there any kind of, you know, um, tricks to the trade you might want to pass along? I think... Like what I've seen from a couple of the guys out there right now is you really, at this moment, there's a lot of really amazing guys out there. Mm -hmm. 
at, that are at the top of their game. And you really have to perfect your art. You really have to be, A, the best you can be. And then you got to know how to market yourself, too. And you got to know... I think a lot of these guys... No, no, no. Take this back. I can't speak for them. I think there's some people out there that don't view what they're doing as an art form. Mm -hmm. They just see it as customizing. Right. You and know, you got a customizer and then you got an artist who customizes. Yeah. You know, because I see, I don't see you as a customizer. I see you as an artist that customizes like a master. That's, you know? well, thank you. Um, that's, that's kind of how I, I do this as art. I don't see it as customizing. I'm, I'm, this is how I make my art. This is how I view it. And I think if you look at what you're doing as art, it puts value in it. As long as you're busting your ass, you're giving it the best you can be, mm -hmm. well, then stand up for yourself and figure out what it's worth for you to keep doing it. You know, if you're making stuff and you're, I think if you're selling it for, you know, whatever your price is and you're just kind of giving it away and you're just, yeah, I'm a customer. This is just, I'm doing it for fun. It's a hobby. Yeah. But if you can you bust your ass and figure out your market and... Um, that, that tends to be the biggest obstacle for most artists. Yeah. You know, I mean, were there any other types of obstacles that you came across as you're coming up in the scene? Um, I, I guess... I mean, I mean haters are going to hate, but... <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty of haters. Yeah. And you got to, I mean, step away from the forums for a minute. Don't let them. If you listen to everything that they'll they say, you. It's a rough place, and yeah. I'm in forums, in car forums. I'm in the customizing forums, and it's it's the same everywhere. You get a group of people that are very vocal, mm -hmm. and some of that's really positive, but yeah. you also get the one that are trolling out there, Absolutely. and it can burn you. Um, it's, it's the day they stop talking about you is when you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I don't know, I feel like I'm rambling here, but what I think of what I'm trying to is <laughs> <laughs> customize it, uh, treat it as art, bust your ass, and if people, people will just see the effort and the work you're putting into it, and if it's awesome, they're going to want to pay for it, yeah. and they're going to want to pay good money for it, and you're going to get, you're going to become an artist. It's... It's pretty basic when I break it down as to how I how I got to where I was and how I. How, how, did, how does it feel to see your customs turn into production pieces to then sell out in a matter of minutes and break Kid Robot's website again? <laughs> it's in, uh, I guess as a part of me it goes, ha, I did it again. <laughs> it's fun because I know um, it's like a lifelong dream of yours when you first started to have your own mini series. Right? Yeah, I the the the. <laughs> the Gold Live series. I mean, I've wanted to do a three-inch Dunny series since day one. Yeah. Um, I have, I think those actually were presented probably like five, six, seven years ago in their original drawings. And I just kind of kept hammering at it. And for whatever reason, I wasn't interested in doing just a minifigure series. Mm -hmm. There seemed to be a lot of limitations in that. I couldn't get... I couldn't get the detail I wanted or the amount of accessories. I couldn't breathe life into that world. But it's because all my figures have been, a lot of them have been on that Dunny platform. It was kind of expanding the world and breathing more life into it. And it's kind of awesome to finally have them. And I want to make more. And I want to keep breathing more life into it and expanding on it on different levels. And not just in Dunny's. Like I want to get more prints out there and everything else.